Hey y'all, welcome back to the DIY Entrepreneur's Reaction Show. I'm so glad you decided to tune in with me today. Go ahead and hit that like button and become a subscriber to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. I would really appreciate that. Today we're going to be reacting to another Shark Tank pitch, so let's check it out. Hi Sharks, I'm Sal Di Paola. I'm John Di Paola. I'm Anthony Caputo. Our company is called Liquid Concepts, creators of the paintbrush cover. We're here today seeking $50,000 for a 10% stake in our company. Sharks, the three of us have been painting for a very long time. In fact, together we have over 60 years professional painting experience. Through, through the years, one thing has bothered us most. Every time we put down our brush, Hey, come on. Don't be silly. Listen, every time you every put time, down every the brush, time, it's a problem. Every time you put down the brush, it was a problem. Anyone who paints can relate. Whether you get a phone call, you need to take a lunch break, you have to pick up the kids from school, there has never been a reasonable or convenient way to keep your brush from drying out or getting ruined. Until now, me and cousin Johnny, over, or Johnny Boy over here went to work in his lab, a.k.a. his garage, and developed what has become the most revolutionary prototype painting product in the industry. Oh, oh, I'm nervous. Nervous. You, did you did it! Slow down, slow down. It's not like we invented a robot that's gonna paint for us. We did, however, revolutionize the painting industry with one piece of plastic. Introducing the paintbrush cover. You sharks might be thinking you've seen this before. You sharks have it. In fact, maybe you're thinking, why didn't you think of it? We got you covered. We thought of it. The days of plastic wrap and other makeshift coverings are over. With the paintbrush cover's unique airtight design, it allows you to store your wet brush for days, weeks, even months without that wet brush drying out, saving anyone who paints a lot of time and a lot of money. Johnny, hang on a sec. Are you telling me all... Wait, who wants to keep the paintbrush for weeks? Now, I can understand a couple of days. You got to get back to the next coat or whatever, but weeks? I guess. I don't know. All I have to do is put my brush in there and it doesn't dry out. Right. It never dries That's out. It. Not only does it not dry out, but we've tested it for as long as three months. Really? It stays yeah. wet. In fact, we have one here that's been through the mill and it's still wet. I find it hard to believe that this little plastic cover <laughs> keeps the paintbrush for days. Here, well, tight. it holds almost 100% humidity inside of there. Picture a Tupperware. If I was to take paint out of a can and put it in the Tupperware and close it, you can put it on the shelf, come back to it, open it up. It's not going to be dry. It's going to be wet. It's such a great idea. Right, and simple. If it's such a great idea, how many have you sold? We've sold 17000 Wow. How many dollars is that? Uh, 35000 50% of that revenue has come in over the course of the past three months. How All much right, does so it cost you to make it right now? 41 cents a unit. Mm. And you sell it for $2? Correct. Into a retailer for 2 bucks. What do they sell it for? Three ninety-nine. $3.99 target price. How do you sell them? To who? Um, we started off, obviously, just door to door. Old fashioned. Yeah. Old fashioned. Fashion. And nobody said no. We went to three stores this morning. We went to three stores this morning. Did That's you true. sell any? Well, yes. Every store. Every store. Have you tried to sell to Lowe's or Home Depot or of one of the ones? We're talking to Walmart right now. We have distributors in six different countries right now. So you're saying that there's nothing else out there like this? Not, no. a, not an airtight one? How is that one? possible? That's what we yeah. said. How is that possible? I've been no thinking. one have thought of this. None of you sound that smart. Who thought uh, of this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's been Larry saying it. Curly, Listen, right? we've both been painting. We're tired of wrapping and wrap. Yeah, but Tim who said, I great. have an idea? I've been thinking, I've been thinking of this I for about 10 years. I knew you're the best looking one, too. You got both. <laughs> she a trip. <laughs> what are you guys going to use the money for? Number one is to restock inventory. We have letters of intent into the hundreds of thousands of units. Bunnings happens to be the Home Depot of Australia. We're in talks right now with a buyer for Bunnings who wanted a quote for 250 pallets. What's that in total dollars? What's that yeah. in total dollars? Uh, it was about $450,000, dollars let us Okay, say. so that raises a big red flag, guys. Why did you only ask for $50,000 knowing that you might have a sale that would require you to put up a lot of cash? Because we feel confident enough in our company where we don't want to give up that much equity, um, that's, that's, smart. Feel that's smart. Equity is very expensive, particularly if you have a winner. But you need more money. 
You know he's going to offer you I'll a royalty deal. I'll tell you deal. what I'll do with you guys, all right? I'll start. <laughs> yeah, there I, you go. I, I like what you're doing. I like the product. I'll give you $50,000 for 10% royalty on all of your sales. Royalty. And I think you're going to need more money, guys. I really do. So you're offering us more? Yeah, well, I'm just going to start with what you asked for. I'll give you $50,000 for 10%. Then I'm going to help you raise what you're going to need to fund this inventory. And I would help you get into retail. I think this is a very interesting story. Thank you. So, Johnny, I'm curious to see what yeah. you think about the royalty thing. I like it, and I respect it. I mean, Smart with that guy. being said, you're you open meant, to other offers. I'm open to all other offers. <laughs> and you guys got to give me a little more space because I can hit my shoulders. <laughs> you know, I need my space. All right. You're saying the company's worth 500000 Correct. I'll give you the 50000 for 20%. Dang, Robert. That's much more expensive than a royalty. Way more expensive. You started somewhere, I'm starting somewhere. Gotcha. Yeah. Kevin, in regards to your royalty, what will you focus on our business to help us move forward? You know, forward? the great thing That's about a royalty deal is that it incentivizes us and aligns it together. Because I, the only thing I want is sales. Right. So for me, what I would be doing is focusing on big box partners and getting it in the store. So I only make money if we sell the product. Even if they're not profitable sales. Right, right. But you can decide whether to take the sale or not. I can bring the buyer to you. I love that Mark interjected that. He like, even if it's not profitable, though, he's getting a royalty on something. So you may come out your pocket for some things. I love that. Ooh, he doesn't bring any sales. He's not invested in the success of the company. But listen, talk is cheap. Money talks. That's what matters. You understand exactly what I'm saying. We know that. If they can come up with a better structure, but when you start giving away equity, in the long run, that's incredibly expensive. I, I personally would just that. love to know that you, um, you're invested in the company as well. The, you want the money. Right, I'll make it more interesting for you. I'll give you $100,000. I leave my royalty in place, but I want 5% equity. That aligns us even further. I do everything in my power to get us more sales. I get my 10% every time a unit sold is about 20 cents. That's how I start to recoup my capital. What do you want to do? Wait a minute. I'm going to make you an offer. Sal, John, and Anthony have two offers. Robert has offered $50,000 for 20% equity. Kevin has offered $100,000 for 5% equity, plus a royalty of 10%. But Lori is also interested. What do you want to do? Wait a minute. I'm going to make you an offer. Come on, Lori. I'll give you 100000 at 20%. Plus, if you just take the deal right now, I'll add another 100000 that will go towards paying for the first purchase orders if we need excess money, because we're going to be out there so fast. So, Lori, is that your offer? Two hundred thousand for twenty percent. It's an offer in front of you right and now. If you take it right now, everything in, in your you... power to get us on QVC. Oh, you know it. Get us QVC, in picking up the phone and be saying, Walmart, "Hey, you know what? Walmart, listen, these are our guys." Lowe's, Menards, Home Depot, everywhere, lightning speed. And I have another offer. I'm going to give uh -oh. you. Uh oh, guys, if you listen to this offer. There's an expiration date on yeah, the extra hundred thousand. I don't know if you're going to say to my her. offer is a better offer, and you haven't heard from I would listen. Cuban either. I wouldn't listen. You'll you guys know the what rest I can do. Life. You what you <laughs> all of us. You know what each one of us brings to the table. I guarantee I love you, my offer is better than that. It's an old situation. And soul into Just stop this. talking, my Barbara. offer is that you have you to take it now, though. You haven't heard our two offers yet. Barbara is smart with alluding that Mark may have a deal as well. You haven't heard our offers yet. Of course, people want to hear an offer from the billionaire. You understand what I mean? But let's see what they fit it in. We know well, what we want to do. We know. Go get it. All right. It's going to be Lori. Lori, welcome to the family. <laughs> All right, so they ended up getting a deal with Lori, even though we had some back and forth about listening to other deals. The paintbrush cover guys, Sal, John, and Anthony, 
They ended up walking out of the tank with a deal with Lori for 100K at 20% plus an additional 100K to go ahead and fund the purchase orders yeah, from maybe. Bunnies, who's like the um, equal to Home Depot and stuff like that, but they're based in Australia. And so he said something about almost a half a meal uh, purchase order agreement from them. And so it just seems like they really knew who they wanted to partner with. Uh, and it was Lori because in the end, even after Barbara was trying to get in with her and Mark trying to get a deal, they had closed it and was like, we know what we want to do. Gave the shirt to Lori. I think that was cute. Um, but I do hope that that partnership proved uh, to be profitable for both of them. And if I can, I'll give an update in some uh, episodes to come. Um, but I am glad for the paintbrush cover that they were able to get a deal um, in the tank. Now, product speaking, I think that's a cool idea in all of the sharks. And everybody was like, wait, this hasn't been done before? You have, for the years that painters have been painting, no one has come up with a way to secure and save a paintbrush, a wet paintbrush? Now, I don't know about holding it for weeks. Y'all, people who paint, do, is there a need to hold a paintbrush for weeks at a time and even months. Like, wash the dog on brush off or you go buy another brush at that point. But anyway, and so I like the product. The product idea was very clever. And did you also catch that they got, it seems like they have like a concepts business and it may be more coming from this paintbrush cover company. Cause the name was like Ludwig or something, concepts. And then this was a product that was within this business, uh, so to speak. So I just think that the product was very clever. And I'm sure that they're happy that they were the ones to think about it. And I just hope that it's been profitable for them. So. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and staying until the end. I really do appreciate that. Go ahead and hit that like button and become a subscriber if you like this content. And make sure you check us out for the next ones. All right, boys. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, baby. You know what? They're not so smart. I was offering them $300,000 with a $500,000 credit card. Well, they were smart. They took money. No, yeah. they weren't smart. They yeah, sure they sold were. themselves. I scooped you. I'm really pissed, Lori. <laughs> we're not making another noise. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Making a deal with Lori is like being up in the bottom of the ninth, hitting a grand slam to win the World Series. This was a total home run for us.